In this video, I'm going to show you how to round the nearest 10. To do this, the best and easiest way is to use a number line. So we're going to round 74 to the nearest 10. I'm going to draw a number line. And to do this, we have to think about what 10 comes before 74 and what 10 comes after. To do that, I look in my tens place, and I know there's a 7 there. So 7 tens is equal to 70. So 70 has to come before 74. If I add 10 to 70, I get 80, so that is the 10 that comes after 70. Now I have to find my midpoint, or the number that goes in the middle, or the number that is halfway. I know 75 is half of, or that's the number that goes in the middle, because the difference between 70 is 80 is 10, and half of that is 5. So 70 plus 5 gives me 75 in the middle. Now I have to figure out where 74 goes on my number line. Well, if I start counting at 70, I go 71, 72, 73, 74. I know 74 goes there. 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, and then 80. Then I draw my jumps, and I draw a jump to the 70 and a jump to an 80. And I notice the jump to 70 is closest. Rounding means the closest to. So I know 74 rounded to the nearest 10 is 70. Now I'm going around 267 to the nearest 10. Again, I look in my tens place for my clue of what multiple of 10 comes first. Because I have 6 in my tens place, I know I must have 60, but I can't forget my 200. So I put my 200 there, so I have 260 as the multiple of 10 that comes before 260. 260 plus 10 is 270. Now I need to find the number in the middle. Well, I know I'm rounding by 10, so I have to find half of 10, which is 5. So 265, or I'm sorry, 260 plus, two, plus 5 is 265. That is halfway between 260 and 270. Now I have to graph or put my number 267 on the number line. Well, I know 267 is 2 more than 265, so my 267 goes right here. Now I draw my jump to my multiples of 270 and 260. I notice my jump to 270 is much smaller, therefore 267 to the nearest 10 is 270. Now we're going to round 355 to the nearest 10. I look in my tens place. I know I have 5 in the tens place, so that 10 digits going to stay the same, which is going to leave me with the multiple of 350. That is the 10 that comes before 355. If I add 10 to that, that gives me 360. And now I need to find the middle. Well, half a 10 is 5, so 350 plus 5 is 350. Now I need to graph my number of 355 on my number line. And I notice that that is already on my number line because it is my midpoint. Which means if I draw a jump to 350 and a jump to 360, those jumps are exactly the same size because each jump is equal to 5. The rule is when we're rounding, with both jumps are the same, we always round to the larger number. So 355 to the nearest 10 is 360. Here are some numbers you can practice rounding to the nearest 10. If you bring all six problems with the number line and the number circle that that number rounds to the nearest 10 to, you will get a prize from the treasure box. Happy rounding!